Hello everyone, this is Cy from the Triple S League, here with Goddess Kiss, another, uh, this Android game that I've been having a lot of fun with. Uh, this is a, a, a really low time sink, a really low money sink. Um, in fact, I haven't spent hardly anything, I buy the, uh, the monthly package uh, for the, the daily gems, and that's about it. So, it's, as, five bucks a month is pretty good, aside from my initial investment. So, this is a pretty fun game where it's a it's a three by three field and you have up to five characters that you use and fight uh you know robot on robot matches so a lot of people were asking what is the best tank to have so the best tank to have uh in my opinion we're gonna go through these top my top three picks and you'll see exactly why and in what scenarios they're really really good so this is eugene we've done a we've done a video on her before this is going to be kind of an update to that one uh eugene is definitely my right now my number one pick for pvp and this is primarily because she doesn't have a dual um attack system where you know she charges up her her sp gauge and then she performs an action now, when you have a normal tank like Maria over here, she's going to attack the target, and by attacking the target, she's going to charge their SP. But her attack isn't really that great. It's not a hugely damaging one. It's barely good enough if you can get a, a crit off, um, and in, even in those cases, sometimes isn't enough to kill a DPS target. So, really, not having an attack and having instead a shield absorption mechanic this is really good and this thing charges ridiculously fast so it's up almost all the time it's constantly refreshing with her immense debuff or sorry uh, uh, defense buff um, she will easily absorb pretty much anything she'll absorb sniper shots and alt shots from the highest dps in the game with ease uh, while her defense is up for those first five turns so that, this is a really good character because she doesn't charge any enemies SP. Instead, she just absorbs pretty much everything and you can really use her very strategically in PvP. Um, during PvE, during the missions or some of the boss fights, not as useful as some of the other tanks. So let's look at the other ones here. Uh, let's start with Rachel. So Rachel was, a lot of people were wondering the comparison between Rachel and Eugene because Rachel is what a lot of people are using as their main tank and she's pretty good in a couple ways. She's got a 467% attack, which is nice. Um, she's got a regular 100% attack for her main. Her deba, or her defense, not her deba, her defense tree is really, really good. This is 100% for the duration of the battle, which is really amazing because some of the battles, some of the fights, you're going up to like turn 18 and this buff lasting the whole time makes a tank worth bringing. If you don't have a tank that you know keeps that defense up the whole fight, then it's pretty it's a pretty pointless uh, unit to bring aside from just taking some early game some early match uh, hits. Um, her retaliation ability is really nice. She retaliates for not a whole lot of damage, but her stun factor is really really good. Thirty percent. It's a, it's a very good proc, it's a good chance to have happen, but in PvP this does bring in a lot of random mechanics where, you know, she'll retaliate against a DPS target that hits her, she won't stun them, instead, you know, all she'll do is she'll feed them, uh, you know, she'll feed them some SP, uh, or her retaliation will just hit the, the, the tank on the enemy team and that, you know, charges that tank up and the damage is minimal. So. Um, it's a little bit of a randomness there. I don't like the random factor. I want to reduce it as much as possible. I want to be able to control the field. So she is not my top pick. She's definitely in my top three, and I do keep her uh, more or less pretty high in the field. Like you can see here, she's 68. Um, I haven't brought her up to 73 just because I only use her very specifically in some world and um, some of the uh, the shooting. Um, uh, time period events that happen. So she's not my top pick. This is my new top pick for almost everything. Um, I just got her last night. She is absolutely 100% amazing. Her defense buff lasts for the entirety of the fight. Uh, same as Rachel's. Is a little bit better than Rachel's. She has this amazing 
uh, heals. She self heals when she's below 30% at the dress break, uh, heals herself for 100% pretty much of her entire life, and she boosts her defense by <laughs> by 20% for an additional four turns. That's on top, stacking on top of her current one, which is amazing. This is amazing. She lasts pretty much forever. Um, her, the only downside to this is that she has this missile barrage, which is at 210%, but it's still, in a lot of cases, all it's gonna do is it's gonna like charge the SP field of everybody else on the map. And in PvP, this is a really, really bad thing to have happen. You don't want to charge, like, MMOto's attack and have her wipe your entire team except for your tanks. That's, um, that's not good. But this is a mechanic that you can utilize in a combination uh, scenario. And I will, t I will probably do a video on that later, how you can utilize wide-range AoE fields to pretty much wipe out the enemy within the first like two turns. Um, I'll, I'll cover that uh, briefly. Right now I just, I don't have as many of the characters that I need to have up there in order to do that. So between all of the, the tanks, their stats are, um, are pretty decent. Uh, in some cases they don't have the top end health, which is kind of weird, but their defense is what of course makes that big, big difference. So uh, she's got seven, M uh, Eugene has uh, 700 and almost 80. Um, she's not quite there yet and she's only three stars. I suspect strongly that we'll, she'll actually outclass uh, Eugene with her defense. So she'll actually be more tougher overall once once I get her up to uh, five stars here. And then in, compar in comparison to Rachel, uh, she's pretty much you know standard tank as far as that, that defense goes. The hit points being, um, not as great, but still, you know, pretty decent. So I recommend that if you can get Eugene to, to level up Eugene, but there's not a huge difference between Eugene uh, and Sarah versus Rachel. If all you have is Rachel, if all you've got is Rachel, boost her up, get her to max, invest in the five stars. It'll definitely be worth it. She's a very good tank to have, but once you manage to get Sarah, um, Sarah's going to outclass her pretty quickly uh, as far as in the most of the scenarios. And then as far as PvP goes, Eugene is going to be your, your golden girl. And uh, you can throw her into key positions when you're doing PvP to absorb uh, alts and stuff like that. And she'll just shrug them off. She'll shrug off sniper shots like crazy. So, so that's my pick for the top tanks in Goddess Kiss. This is, this is a pretty fun Android game. If you guys have any comments or questions, please feel free to ask. I am going to be on the Reddit uh, and also on here answering some questions about this. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps us out a ton when you do that. Check out this video. It's one of our favorite things that we've done so far on our channel. And here's some more stuff you might like. See the description below for links to our Sugar Bomb forum and our mods on Nexus mods.